Hello, Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to Engineering Study Solution. Today we are getting a new video about how to read PA chart of R134 gas and it is very much important to uh, for all the mechanical engineers and refrigeration and air conditioning engineers to find the coefficient of performance or work uh, for a refrigerant or, or any kinds of cooling device. So R134 gas is very important. We are getting some temperature minus 40, minus 20 and 30 degrees Celsius. So that will help us to find the enthalpy of different criteria. And H5 and H6 are both are equal. Here is a ranking cycle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here H5 and H6 are the constant entropy and H7 and H8 are the constant enthalpy line. So both are enthalpy line, sorry. So here is the temperature is minus 40, 20, 30. So we denoting minus 40 to minus 40. So we will get a straight line from minus 40 line. So this is our straight line from minus 40. We'll take the straight line from minus 20, uh, 40. Then next we will take a line from minus 20. And next our line, uh, degree is 30 degrees Celsius. So we'll take a new line at 30 degrees Celsius. Now we can see that in our diagram 1 and 2 is slightly inclined. So we will add the minus 40 to minus 20. So we will get our inclined line. And as we f in, uh, add both lines, we will find the inclined line automatically. Okay, then 3 to 4, there is also an inclined line. So we need, need to find the 30 degrees from our chart. And this is our... 30 degree so we are denoting this and now we are adding the next work is to make some straight line from the joint points so this is our straight line from different points okay very fine so we take the straight line from our different enthalpy and uh, temperature points that will help us to find the enthalpy so we uh, after getting some straight lines it is very easy to find the enthalpy so first our first line is 30 degrees celsius from 30 degrees celsius so what is the 30 where is the 30 degrees celsius we will find easily that it is h4 so it is the line of h4 straight then that is the 400 to 500. So we can write easily 440 kilojoule per kg per Kelvin. Okay, then the next one is H2. And H2 is 380 degrees Celsius. Now we can take 385 also. It is not a big deal. Then 5 or 10 or kilojoule per kg enthalpy difference cannot make big difference. So H1 is... 375 or 370 kilojoules okay but we have some missing that h3 uh, that was very near to the h2 and h3 and h2 and h3 both are lying at 20 degrees celsius so we can take the slight less value than h2 the h2 was 385 so we can take the slight less value is 380 and that will be okay for determine any kinds of value so it is 380 kilojoule. And now there is some constant enthalpy line are missing. So I'm drawing again. Oops, sorry. And this is our straight line. And this is from 200 to 300. So we can write easily H5 and H6 are constant enthalpy line. So H5 and H6 value will be the same. So we can easily write 240 kilojoules. And next one is H7 to H8. Both are constant enthalpy. So we can write 100 to 200. So it is 185. It's between 100 and 200. So this is our all, uh, chart and all the data are determined. So it will help us to how to find and read the PS chart. And I hope you will understand. If you have any comments, you can write in comment section. I will help you. And we will get new video with how to read the other PS charts. So please subscribe and stay with us. 
hope we will get new new videos with you and thanks bye bye